And so, for the first time in NHL history, a game will be decided with a shootout. Who's your shooters, Gort? Who are your shooters? Alfredson yes. for Ottawa, Havlat, and Spezza. For Toronto, you'd probably say Sandin. Yeah. They'll go with Lindros. He's very experienced internationally mm -hmm. in shootouts. What about Allison? Probably. And what about O'Neill? Yeah. Maybe Antropov. This is interesting. This is where the strategy comes in. Greg Carville, Brian Murray, and John Paddock conferring on the Ottawa bench. Keith Acton and Pat Quinn conferring on the Toronto bench. Now we'll get a scrape, yep. but it will not be a full flood. The Zambonis will do two passes each and scrape the middle of the ice. As Brian Murray and Pat Quinn assemble their list, three shooters for each team. After three rounds of the shootout, the team obviously that scored most wins. But if it's still Andrew really disliked the shootout. So many of them have left. <laughs> Good for them. This is great. This is history in the making right here. I haven't had one of these before in the NHL. We've seen a few in international yes, hockey. We have. Great theater. And away we go. Daniel Alfredson. The first participant in the first ever shootout. Scores. And Ottawa takes a one to nothing lead. Players are having fun with it too. Daniel Alfredson so strong and the puck comes in strong on it and then just flashes one right by the left leg of Eddie Dolphin. Now Jason Allison for Toronto. In. Poke checked by Hasek, and he is stopped. Ottawa leads one to nothing after one round. It's kind of tough to take a penalty shot when you're not moving very quickly. Doesn't make it very tough on the goaltender. Hasek makes a good read. Allison's coming down. He's a slow mo kid in this situation. We know he has nifty hands, but he loses a puck. It's hard to stick handle when the ice is bad. And we're late into the game here. It's been very hard, hot in Toronto the last two days. That's a tough play. And now Martin Havlak. This is interesting because Alfredson was a right-handed shooter on Belfer. Now Havlat's a left-hander. I don't know if they even think about that, but it's definitely tough on the goalie. Havlat in, stopped by Belfer. Ottawa continues to lead, one to nothing. And Eric Lindros will take the next shot for Toronto. It almost looks like Martin Havlat tries to go five-hole, and Eddie Belfer comes in. Eddie comes out to cut it down, and then. Yeah, no, it actually went off the blocker and the stick. Lindros took part in his first shootout in 1992 at the Olympic Games in Alberville. And there he comes with a chance to tie it. Lindros in, fires it high and wide. And Ottawa with a 1 0 lead. And now Danny Heatley can win it for the Senators. You just never worry when Hashik's in goal in a shootout, though. It's strange. Maybe it's just a Nagano experience for me. But. So Heatley with a chance to give Ottawa an opening night win in Toronto in a game in which the Senators trailed twice. Alfredson, by the way, scored both of Ottawa's goals in regulation time and has the goal here in the shootout. Doesn't count as a hat trick, though. And in comes Heatley with a chance to win it. Heatley scores! And the Ottawa Senators win on opening night in Toronto. The final score will read Ottawa 3, Toronto 2, as the Senators win the first ever shootout in NHL history. And